Hey guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallula, and you know what I'm here for. I've got a haul for you because I got some stuff in. And, oh my God, excuse me. And this time I was also able to cut out most of it. So let me show you what came in today. I got a small order from Perry Ann's Arts and Things. She's over on Etsy. They ship very quickly, which you guys know I love. And their prices are uber fab. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. This store just drains me of money because I want everything that they have that I don't have. <laughs> All right. So, definitely go over there. And, you know, if you go, tell our parent, Poets Bite sent you. Okay. So, I only got two things from there. First, let me show you goodies. They sent this extra package. Don't worry, be happy of some frogs. Three-dimensional stickers. So that was cute. So thank you for the extra. And I only got two things this time. I got this I'm blaming on Gracie. Gracie 21. So she got this die and I had been looking at it and looking at it and she showed it and I wasn't sure, you know, if it was a small die, large die, whatever. And so it is this company here. And I think it was $5.99. Excuse me, it comes with a magnetic sheet. And I went ahead and put it in this bag because the package is falling apart because I ripped it off. So. I got that one and then they had some good prices on heartfelt creations and you guys know I love heartfelt creations so the one I got was this one this flirting frogs and I don't have the die for this and it says there is one um, but this one is one that you could you could get away without using a die it wouldn't be too hard to cut this out and that cute. I just thought it was adorable. And so even if you just don't really make him flirting, but whatever. It's so cute. And it was $8.99, which is uber, 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 uber cheap for a Heartfelt Creations. So that came. The other thing that came today was my die kit from Spellbinders. So, you know I am in the, the big kit club so you get the small and you get the big die set I'm going to show you the big die set first so here's that it makes one of those cute little boxes and as you can see that is a flipping big die and it has these little bits in here to embellish just a cute little tag so I did the cutouts for it here's the little tag you get a little swirl those are the two job pieces. And then you get two little flower pieces, okay? And then here's the box cut out and scored with all your pieces. So that's cute. And then this is what the box look like. looks like. It's one of those, I've seen people do these without a die, so. Um, it's like one of those little, it reminds me of a cookie box or something. So that's what it looks like. Yay! So that's the big die in the set. And here is the small die set. And this month what you got, you have these frames and they're embossed as well as cut. And then you got the small inside. So they look like this and you can see where there's that embossed detail edge. And then you have the cut. So I did one. I didn't do all of these because it's basically going to be the same thing. So you can see all the embossed detail. And then you have your inside piece. So if you wanted to, you can make a frame and cut it out. Or your whole piece and then a small piece. And that's what I did. Um, so you can see the embossed detail. Now I just ran this through my machine and it was able to emboss it. But if you wanted that deep official emboss, you can go ahead and put the embossing pad. And then here's the other piece. And it even has the embossing on it too. So that is the small die set. Fabulousness. Y'all know I love my dies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. These two I might have shown, but I know I did not cut them out. This one 
from the shop that shall not the site that shall not be named and it comes out lovely and it has this piece but you have to definitely emboss it to get the rose detail which that I did not do and then had this one which is a little scene in a frame. And I didn't cut these two little birds out because, I mean, you can see what the little birds look like. But I did cut out the pieces. So, you have first this piece, which is fabulous. And it's a nice size, too. So, you have this piece. Then you have this inner piece, and it would cut this. Okay. Then you have this cut in detail. So if you use this inner piece and that cut in detail, you get that. If you use this outer piece and then the cut in detail, you get this. And then if you use this outer frame and the scene detail, you get that. Which is kind of cool because then you could go and do all kinds of mix and matching. So you could put the white background back in, color it up. You could put the whole thing and layer it up like that. You could do it again and put the frame over top. So there's all kinds of things that you could do when you have a die like that. So that is fabulous. There's that one, and then I got three tattered lace dye sets in, and they came as a group. So, we have this butterfly, and it is fabulous. And look how big it is. This is only, it doesn't say, but it's not 100% the size. So, you have these pieces. This is my favorite, and then you have a corner piece. Oops. There's also this little piece right there. All right. And then you have a teeny tiny butterfly. Look how small it is. And then you have the big crescent piece, which is fabulous. Mm. Awesome sauce. Okay. Then you have the second set, which is this one. And you get another crescent piece flowers, some leaves, and some side chain pieces. So here are your flower pieces. And all these can be layered up. There's the little doily piece, chain piece, a corner piece. Here's another one of the little flowers. And I think there's, one, there it is. I was like, there's something else in here. There's the leaf. And then, of course, you have the whole crescent. And the fun thing about this is, see, some of these, they lift up. They stay in the piece, but they lift up. So you can get dimension on them. You can cut them apart. Isn't that cool? Then you could take the other pieces and layer on top. So fabulous. Then the final one is this one. And you could definitely see the lace detail more in that. And you have another flower. And one of these I did not cut out. A branch. And the best thing about tattered lace is look at that. You see how small that is? See how tiny that is and how well it's still cut out? You have to be a good dye to do that. And then there's the leaves that go with this one. And of course, the big crescent. I really like that. And this will be fun to do layered up. You can layer the little pieces, but layer this, put the whole thing up. Oh, that would be awesome. You could turn it different ways. This one is almost to the point where if you snipped a little bit, you could make it a heart. We'll do another one that way so that is my haul for today and i'm pretty sure i'll be back with another one oh i don't know soon because i still have some stuff that's coming in all right thanks for watching bye